Hello, welcome to the ITL. Yes, we are in a computer room. Yes, we have bad lighting. Yes, I know. We can work with this. I am actually working on getting a little bit of a soft light put in here, pointed at me, towards me that way. It'll, it, it'll be a lot nicer to be able to see me. Um, actually, I want this ITL, actually, I wanted to do a. Uh, Oh, I basically a how to. Well, just a, just a short how to. And this is actually short. This is gonna be long. Um, give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. And uh, basically, what we're gonna do is color fill. You might ask, well, what's color fill? Well, it's just basically what it, what it says. It's 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 filling with color. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of color filling on the High Point C9 that I own. You might ask, well, what are you going to do that for? You want to just leave it black? Well, yeah, I could. But I figured, you know what, I want to make her look a little pretty. She has pretty, yeah. <laughs> she has, it has some, um, say, letters. You know, it says High Point Firearms and everything along the side of the slide here. And I just figured, you know what, color fill it, make it look a little nicer. And actually, Hootie Hoo kind of inspired us a little bit. Because I've, I mean, I've kind of thought about this for a little while. But Hootie Hoo, I see, noticed in Hootie Hoo's video, his, his was white. And he points it out that it says white, high point C9. But, I am doing this. You can't see it very well. Yeah, green kind of a bright green you can go towards what this you can kind of figure out what the theme of this gun's going to be yeah it's going to be my zombie gun <laughs> just something to play with play around with you know and i'll let you know uh, this for you this guy i know i have a couple viewers that are a little bit on the younger in the teens guns are nothing to play with you should not how can i put it um never Never think that they're a toy. Always respect them. And know what you're doing before you handle them. I mean, they, they do kill. And, they, and you can't kill yourself on a sheer accident. It, it doesn't take much. But you can tell, mine, it's been safety checked. It's The slide's open, so there's no rounds in the chamber. does not have a magazine in it. I took it out while, whenever I first started the video. So, let's go ahead and go on with the, uh, oh, before I move on, everything I'm going to be using, the green knit fingernail polish, I'll be using what they call cotton rounds or for makeup, for uh, women use to put makeup on. These two things, I picked up the dollar store, buck a piece. I did pick up some, um, Fingernail polish remover, but not this stuff. The fingernail polish remover that I did pick up was not wasn't non acetone, and which that's what you need to do. You need to get non acetone fingernail polish remover. That way, you're not affecting your finish on your gun by you know with the acetone. But I knew that the, well, the wife could the wife had fingernail polish remover, so I figured, you know what, I can't find the non-acetone, so I just go ahead and bought her a bottle, just to replace what I would use, you know what I mean, it's more than enough, but this is non-acetone, it is non-acetone, it is, has non-acetate and non-ethanol lactate, so I mean, it, it, it's fairly, it's safe. Now, Let's, uh, let's, let's, I'm going to go ahead. This is going to be a lot of cuts. And I'll be showing you it, a little bit of it, then we'll have to stop. It'll be, it's going to take longer than what the video is. I hope you bear with me on this. So let's go ahead and cut and go to talking about how, do, how I'm going to clean the gun and start the process. Hello, I got the camera in my hand, so I won't be doing it like one-handed. You can tell, well, I got a lot more oils on here than I really need. I got a little bit of oil splatter over here. I'll be cleaning all this up, and if you look on the angle, you can see that 
there is the lettering, it's the etchings in there. And I gotta clean the possible over oil spray over off of it and whatnot. Maybe possibly gunpowder, who knows? I've I've shot this. I'm going to use and you should you could use uh uh ethyl ethyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol, sorry about that. To clean this, and that's what most people do. I'm just going to use the fingernail polish remover. It, it, it'll do the job for me. I want to make sure it's thoroughly clean. I want, like I said, I'm going to use the cotton rounds. I bought plenty for it. And that's all basically I'm going to do. I'm going to wet in the cotton round and just rub it clean. When I get back to you, this will be should be all cleaned up. Here you go. Quick note: this is on the cleaning. You can see the round pad I used. I got. You can see the crud and everything that you couldn't, you really couldn't see after. That was after I even went cleaning. But I did get it cleaned. The trick is to get the dirt and oils out of it. It's probably partially carbon, also from the gunpowder. You really can't see. Well, you, you can kind of see the lettering a little bit there. It looks like that. Show about the shakes. There we go. You can see the lettering on there. But it is clean. I'm waiting for it to dry. But after the next step, after it dries, will be to open up the fingernail polish. Which is this with this lighting and everything, that fingernail polish looks a lot lighter than it really it is. Um you gotta remember it's going against black, so it's gonna be even darker yet. So that's the plan. And I'll be back to, oh, a little tip about fingernail polish, especially the cheap stuff. This this one here does not have a ball in it, and most good most fingernail polishes have balls in them. You do not want to really want to shake it. You want to roll it, so that way you don't get air bubbles built up inside of the fingernail polish, just to get it mixed up. Just a little hint. We'll be right back soon as the slide finish dries. Okay, remember, I'm doing this one-handed. After it's all dried, you have your fingernail polish rolled and mixed. Just take your fingernail polish, see if I can get it in frame, and just lightly roll it in. Now this is going to take several coats. This might even be a bad color for this. Just roll it in. Just rolled and sorry about the cam bad camera work. I'm just trying to watch what I'm doing and watch the camera work at the same time. Now this is probably going to likely going to take a couple coats to really fill it in nicely, but we will go with it. We'll wait. We'll set this out and let it dry. If you look at it, it's really starting to settle in. But you can see kind of what it's going to look like. Just to show you guys, I made a slight mistake whenever I dabbed it on the first time. The uh, fingernail polish wasn't quite mixed up as well as I wanted it, so I went ahead and took it, removed it. All you need to do is use the fingernail polish remover in one of your uh, cotton rounds and wipe it off. And it's easy enough to make them clean up that mistakes. Now we're just letting this sit and dry. And I'll clean up my cotton round so I have later around here. And we'll remove it. Like I said, this might take a couple of uh, coats. And no, it's not going to be a dramatic bright color fill. And that's but but that's not quite what I'm looking for. And there's several ways you can do this actually. There's not just you can use any type of paint you want to to do this type of job, or well, long it's uh, long it's a uh, acrylic. The acrylic will will hold up for you. 
Um, or you could do like Hootahoo did, and uh, he all he used was simple crayol crayons, and he rubbed it in there and then took off the excess. But I wanted something just a little bit more, in my mind, a little bit stronger than the crayon crayons. I mean, even you can always reapply if it wears off, or this here you reapply also. Either way, either way will work. Okay, it's pretty much dried. It's I mean it's still a little tacky, but uh, this will work. Um, you should let it dry for the most part. I got one of my cotton rounds. Got some of the uh, nail polish remover on it. What you do is you put you don't put hardly any pressure on it, and you start either swiping it or doing little circles, whatever you feel like doing, just to remove the top. Since I'm, doing, I'm only one-handed here, I'm the only person doing this, I don't have a tripod to set up for it. We're going to go ahead and do this off-camera, and we'll see how it comes out. I mean, this is my first time ever doing this. It might need a second coat. But you can kind of see, it's kind of filling in a little bit. But I'll be cleaning up all this over, edge on the bottom, on the edge there and everything else. You just put you all clean, you clean that all up. Okay, everybody. You see, I went from using, sorry about the mess, the uh, cotton rounds to clean it off. I used the paper, end up using a paper towel. It's just a lot easier. You don't have a big enough mess. And I end up putting another coat on, but maybe you can see this is a bad lighting in here, and it's really, really not, really not good for this to view it. Um, but yeah, you can kind of here kind of see what I'm shooting for. It's not going to be bright smack out um, grab you in your face. But I wanted it just just green. I mean it's hard to camera view is not doing it justice I'll tell you. Uh, but this is the second coat. All you do is just use, barely use any pressure to remove it. Use the uh, oh, non-acetone uh, Fingernail polish remover and just slowly remove it off. And what I'll do is I'll just show you the end result whenever it comes. Okay, everybody, I had to recoat that little section right there. It didn't come out quite as well as I wanted. The bad lighting, of course, is causing part of this. But you kind of see where I'm going to on this. That stands out really nice. That stands out pretty nice. But it, 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 a lot of the, my problem is the lighting right now in this room. But it's standing out pretty nice. So I'm going to recoat that. It says point right there a little bit. But yeah, you see where it's coming from. i got to clean up right underneath the rail there. You see there's a little, I got a little messy on there. I think i got to clean up the, the paper, where the paper is actually stuck on. But that's, a, that's not a big deal. Um... We'll call that the end of it. I mean, this is this is not a, or like, a really, really, really easy project, like using a crayon or anything. But I think once it dries and hardens up, it'll be, it'll stay. And the green, well, it's kind of a translucent green, so it's it doesn't show up like the white. But it's what, what I was shooting for. I didn't want something that would boldly stand out, but yet it was there. Kind of like a ghostly like a ghost type thing. But yet be the green that I wanted. So I think that really worked out nice. You see I'm using I'm actually using a flashlight, a LED flashlight so you can see a little bit better. But I think that's going to work out nice. Uh, we'll call that the end for the video. This has gone on long enough as it is. Let's go ahead and go back to the uh, the face. Hello everybody. I'm back. Yeah, it, it, I'll tell you, this is actually taken, I took three coats to actually get it this way. I mean, it's nothing. I got a whole bottle of the freaking other stuff. Um, I used about that much out of the bottle for the uh, the nail polish remover. I've used uh, a lot of a lot of paper towels to remove it because I mean, once you start getting the color on it, you want to switch places that way you're not spreading the color all over the place. But it, it, it's working. It's working now. It's it's doing just the way I, I I wanted it, and that's the important thing. You want it to get the way you want it. It, it, it doesn't matter anything else on that. But yeah. It's kind of kind of a small idea how to. This is the first time I ever done something like this. I've seen lots of videos on it, and they make it look a lot easier. It really is. Um, just make sure you clean it really good. 
I would, what I would do if I was doing it all over again, I would uh, use, go ahead and use the, uh, the iso, the, the nine, 91% alcohol, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and clean it really better, clean it up. I, what I did is, it works. It, I think it might have hindered the, the drying time a little bit. Um, the quality stuff you want to use is you want to use quality paper towels. Just so you don't get that fluff all over the place. I got a little bit here and there, but I mean, I don't think that can really be helped too, too much. A little bit of more cleanup, and it'll be fine. Um, this gun is not done. This is just a start on the transfer transformation. I This is getting to where I wanted it to be. I don't want it to smack out, it'll be there like a obvious hit you in the face type change. I want a, like a ghost change, like a, like a, like a little bit where it, it it's not it's there but it's not really noticeable like you know what I mean I hope you do uh this is Muzzle Mike hoping you all have a great week signing out